Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. I'm going to be painting the Fog Models concrete base for the diorama. Now I hope to get everything finished but there's a few bits I'm just waiting on so next week should be the, the final part. So first up the concrete base was given an overall wash of Games Workshop Dawnstone Grey. I, I experimented on the underside and, and didn't add this colour and it just looked a little too bright just going straight over the white so it just helped dull things down a little bit. And far from trying to achieve a, an even coverage, the more irregular it was, the, the better it helped the weathering process further on. So I'm just doing a regular coat, but making sure most of the white's covered. So once the grey had dried, a quite a generous coating of AK Interactive concrete texture paint was added over the uh, surface of the base. Um, this was stippled on and brushed on alternatively just to get a nice variation in the texture coat um, all I'd say is use an old brush for this because it really does take it out on the brushes and uh, returning the next evening I decided to add some subsequent uh, layers of the texture paint to some areas and I also rubbed the texture away with my finger on other sections just to get a really nice variation for the oils to work with See, I'm just clearing out some of the cracks here because obviously I'm going to be putting water effects in there. And it just didn't look, the texture paint on its own just didn't look very realistic. So I just cleared out areas such as this and the rebar. Now the first wash, I used one of the Ammo Oil Brusher uh, washes. This is Starship Filth and it's a fantastic colour, really good for weathering concrete and buildings in general. I use it all the time. So you see by capillary action, the turpentine really helps get it into all of the... Uh, the uh, concrete texture paint really complements the texture paint as well again not being too picky but just trying to get an even coverage and then subsequently I went back and I added pin washes in various places you can see here I'm just adding some extra shades in the cracks just to really form a contrast next up the uh, ammo oil brush of light green was added to add some moss effects um, there was an overall wash, you see I'm adding some more specific pin washes, at applying the uh, oil directly to the base itself, again some of the cracks and so on and so forth, and blending it in with turpentine. It's worth remembering it can look a little stark, but when the turpentine evaporates, the colours tend to dull down, so you'll come back the next day and it won't look quite so drastic. So once the moss effects were done, I added some pin washes of Ammo Oil Brush and Mud Brown. See, I'm applying them directly to the model and then just blending them in. Um, and at this point, I'm, I'm trying to do it, blend the colours in with each other so they're still drying, which gets a more natural effect. If you don't like it, you just apply some more turpentine and just remove the pigment, basically. So this is coming on quite nicely, but I thought the grey looked a bit, bit uh, monotone. So I use some of the MIG oil brushes streaking grey, which is slightly thinner than the standard grey, uh, just, just to provide a different tone uh, to, to the uh, bare areas of the concrete. And uh, this worked really quite well, and it sort of faded nicely into the, uh, the, the, the grey of the base. So next step, I added some oil brusher dark brown pin washes almost concentrating more towards the back of the diorama just to add some depth, a bit of shadow almost. And uh, the cracks in the concrete as well received this. This helped complement the um, water effects later on as well. So obviously these areas would be darker and, and a little muddier. So again, blending the colours all together or, or, or working when they're still quite wet means you get a nice natural finish. You can see here I've added significantly more of the uh, dark brown around the rear of the diorama and just near the near the edges of the cracks again just blending this in with the turpentine this works really quite nicely so not happy with what I've done so far I used even more uh, dark brown oil brusher pin washes just at the rear of the diorama and this uh, really started to build up some nice contrast in the base coat um, if you look at a piece of concrete, it isn't just grey obviously especially old and weathered pieces of various different tones I was really trying to achieve this so here we see the finished article, the pipe I'm going to be working on next week, and then the products used. So the final step was adding the Woodland Scenics water effects. These were added with a cocktail stick, and they have to be left to dry overnight, and subsequent sort of mud, mud puddles were added using their, their muddy water texture, and it was pretty much done. So here we see the finished base, um, and 
quite pleased with how it came out with a bit more weathering done when the whole model's finished so i hope to see you next week thanks again for watching and take care bye bye